Okay, today I'm going to show you how to modify the ZI-8 camera to take a step-down ring so you can put other lenses on the camera. Now I saw this being done on YouTube and I reviewed uh, several forums where it's been done. A lot of people are doing this to flips and to the ZI-8s, but they're using uh, super glue, which is not that good uh, a adhesive for this application. Super glue is a uh, uh, cyanoacrylate, which is um, a very tenacious bonding adhesive, but it has a low shear rate. And what low shear means is that when this takes, when this glue is glued by super glue and it takes a blow, it's hit hard, it'll shear off. It has low shear strength. Yes, it's strong as hell but because it's crystalline structure it is a little bit susceptible to shock loosening which is what a shear blow is. So in this case I'm going to use a two-part bonding adhesive known as an epoxy which only degrades over time with temperature and with this application it would be you know 50 years instead of super glue breaking sometime later in the year. Uh, so, I'm going to be using a two-part adhesive. The ring I'm using here is a 25, I don't know if you can see that, let's zoom in. Oh, can't zoom in. Alright, it's a 25 by 37. And it fits rather nicely on the ZI-8. I have some 25 by 37, it fits nicely over where the lenses of the ZI-8 is. And before you do this, to make sure you have good adhesion, I took a little bit of sandpaper or a Dremel, I think I took a Dremel, and I roughened this edge so that the adhesive will take a, a greater bite of the material. I also, to make sure I don't get any junk into my lens, I put painting, painter's tape over the lens hole so that I can't get any crap in there while I was sanding it, and uh, I won't get any, super, uh, any epoxy on it while I'm epoxying. So, it's time to uh, mix the epoxy and get ready to put this together. The plan is to simply get a big pile of epoxy, spin the edge of this ring on the epoxy, get that good and coated, stick it on, and then let it set for a day, and then I will add more to the inside. Okay, I want you to see how this came out. Uh, this this infill here came out very nice. Uh, you can tell from the color, it's very smooth. It's the epoxy set as if it was part of the plastic uh, mold. So it's a very clean and aesthetically pleasing bonding. And this is almost perfectly level. I can't tell if it's off at all. It looks perfectly on the edge as being even. When I screw the, the lens on, it looks perfect. So let me show you a little bit about the lens. The lens is a digital uh, concepts uh, lens. It is a .45 wide-angle lens. Uh, it is a higher quality, I think, than the Sunkist lenses. Uh, these are about 25 bucks if you buy them on their website uh, through NVA camera supplies, or if you go on eBay, you can find these as well. It's a digital concept. And it comes with the lens, and it comes with a nice carrying bag. 
Now the lens has got two components. You can unscrew the wide angle part and you've got two lenses. You've got your macro and you've got your professional development, uh, your, your wide angle. So let me stop and show it to you. And there she is. Rather nice. It looks good uh, because the black uh, molding and the black down uh, step down ring, it looks like it's actually meant to be on the camera, so there's no fugly going on. Uh, it would have been nice with a, a, a dark. Uh, lens itself, but let's be practical here. And if I want to remove the wide angle part, I now have a nice macro lens. So I'll do some test shots for you.